when I first started using Go High Level, I was so confused between the difference of custom fields and custom values. And in today's video, I'm gonna explain it in very, very simple terms so that you're never confused again and you know exactly what to use when. So we're in my version of High Level called Smarter Flow and we're in the Contacts tab and we're on the specific contact called Mr. Like This Video. And so you can see, we can see the first custom fields right here. The first name is a standard custom field, last name is a standard custom field, and let's start by just having a quick look at some custom fields. So these are pretty standard and part of most CRMs, and if we wanted to add additional custom fields specific to our needs and specific to our CRM, and basically create our own version of high level, we can easily create those. And so down here are some examples of those. Here's a text box of for appointment notes. Here's a little checkbox for spam. Then we also have down here status update. We have a little drop down. And again, all of these are custom fields. Uh, where we can select if after a meeting, we were able to contact the, the lead, they no showed, they showed, they sold, and all of this can trigger other automations. But why, I, why I'm showing these custom fields right now is I wanna show you custom fields are always tied to a specific contact. And so that's one of the main differences between custom fields and custom values. Custom fields are specific to a contact and depending on which contact is looking at that custom field, the data or the value of that custom field will change. Whereas custom values are tied to a specific sub account, to a specific business location. No matter if you're looking at that custom value or if I'm looking at that custom value, custom values always have the same value, no matter who's looking at them. Whereas again, custom fields, depending on who's looking at it, if you're looking at it or if I'm looking at it, the value of the custom field will change. I just had to make sure I use the same, uh, the right word there. To emphasize that point, I went ahead and wrote out this quick little email right here, contact, first name, how are you doing? And if you wanna look at these custom fields, you can just basically click on this little plus down here and then you've got a lot of custom fields and also custom values down here as well. So you can just select that and then hit on contact first name and then this will populate. But again, now we've got contact first name, how are you doing? So if I'm on this tab right here and I'm sending this message to Mr. Like This Video, then it'll populate Mr. Like This Video right here in this custom field. Whereas if I, I now switch over to Mr. Subscribe right here and I write the same message saying, contact first name, how are you doing? It will populate with Mr. Subscribe. So again, I just wanna emphasize, depending on who's looking at that custom field, that custom field will personalize for that specific contact. And so that's one of the main use cases. We wanna customize email outreach at scale. And you can have, again, any custom field from from any point or time for that specific contact. But custom fields don't only have to be used for email and SMS personalization for rather external communication, but they can also be used for internal storage. And that's kind of why I showed the custom field spam right here. If we check this box, then we internally know that this contact is marked as spam. Obviously high level does have other fields for that, but then for example, appointment status. So yeah, if they contacted, no showed, showed, sold, we can trigger automations on the back end. And again, that's more of an internal use case. So custom fields are great for external personalization of messaging at scale, but then also internal data saving and uh, just making sure that you know what's going on. And a very common place to use custom fields on our contact forms or just forms in general. So I've got a couple of forms here. If we just jump into this contact us form right here, we can see we've got some standard custom fields um, right up top, but then also a custom custom field, please write your message here. And if we wanted to add any custom field while we're in this form builder, we can just click on custom fields right here. We've got the standard ones right here, but again, let's add a custom one and just click on add custom fields right here. And then we can decide what kind of format should this custom field have. So we could say single line, we could hit next, we could call this field name, um, my per, uh, personal credit score. <laughs> I don't know how to type. And we can decide is, are we tying this custom field to the contact or to the opportunity? Where do we wanna group this custom field? You can see we've got these groups right here and that might look familiar from these groups right here. So these drop downs, additional info, status update information, review information, those are the exact groups that we see right here. So very personalizable, again, depending on what exactly you need and what you want. For now, we'll just hit back right here 
because uh, I created a custom field already and it wasn't showing up or it's showing up down here, which is kind of silly, but we can go up here and just hit search and we can just type in credit score. So now we can take this custom field and drop it over here on this form. And again, let's say your prospect, your lead, whoever is uh, filling out this form right before they work with you. And once they fill out this form, you wanna personalize the messaging to them. So you can actually take this credit score custom field right here. Once they submit this form, you can send an SMS and use this custom field. So again, somebody's credit score might be 800, somebody else's credit score might be 750. And so you can actually take that data that they just submitted and put it into your next email, into your next, next SMS to just personalize that messaging to them. So just to emphasize that last little example that I shared, I went ahead and built out the automation that I was trying to describe. So we've got the form submit automation right here. Up here's the trigger. We're saying that once this contact us form is submitted and that form is again the specific form we want to trigger this automation and we want all the actions down here to happen right now there's just this first sms to the customer action and we're saying hi contact first name a custom field since your credit score is and then the credit score we can definitely help you and you could personalize it to trigger again only if you actually want to help them or if you don't want to help them but um so this is yeah an easy way to personalize the messaging and take that custom field that they just filled in on this form and personalize the messaging for them. Now we're in the back end of high level in settings. And this is just where the custom fields are basically housed and managed. Once you click on here on custom fields, you'll be brought to this tab where you can see what is the custom field name? What is it tied to? Because it can tie, be, be tied to the contact or to the opportunity. The contact use case is more common, but if you want to create, again, custom fields for opportunities, that is po possible as well. And then we can add them to folder, group them in folders to organize them, as I showed you earlier as well. And um, yeah, you can add folders and add fields back here as well. Now, after that short custom fields masterclass, let's jump into custom values right below it. And you can see this is very, very similar, but again, these this is where the custom values are hosted and managed. You can again, create new ones and add folders. And the main difference, again, between custom fields and custom values is that custom values do not change depending on who looks at them. So custom values are specific to the sub account, specific to the business. And no matter in the messaging, if you're looking at it or if I'm looking at it, if anybody's looking at it, it's always the same specifically for that sub account, specifically for that business. So to inspire some ideas on how you can use custom values, let me show you some examples. So I've got in sites, this customizable link tree pages. I've got a couple of different designs. And once we jump into one of these designs, you can see I've got the custom value location owner first name right here. So again, the business is the business. The business owner's first name is always going to be the business owner's first name, no matter what your your name is or my name is. And so it's handy for things that are static. But once you change it, let's, let's say you sell this business and the business owner's first name changes, you would have to go into all your email campaigns, all your funnels, all your websites, all your SMS campaigns and change that business owner's first name in all those campaigns. But if you have it in a custom value and you insert it in a custom value like this, then you can just go into custom values on the back end right here, change the name right here of the business owner, and it'll populate on all of your funnels, all your link tree pages, all your SMS, all your email campaigns. So that is the power of custom values. And so you can see again, we've got the location owner first name custom value, the location owner last name custom value, and we've actually got these link tree buttons embedded in custom values as well. So that if again, we wanted to change the link on, on one of these forms, we wouldn't have to do it on all individual forms, but we could just go back into custom values back here and change the link once and it would populate and update on all the forms. So very, very powerful. So here's another quick example. Let's say you have an email signature and it's best. Usually it's like first name, uh, your email and your phone number. But again, instead of actually writing that out and then having to change and update all the email campaigns with that data, you can just have custom values put it into the custom values, and then it'll just update all at once. And last but not least, I wanted to share a very cool and powerful trick. I actually embedded a custom link over here on my version of high level called Smarter Flow called Account Setup. So I've got very powerful automations, very powerful forms. Here's some of the automations when a new lead comes in, an invoice or checkout page is filled out, a canceled no-show reschedule appointment happens. So again, 
the power of high level is, is having good automations and it's hard to build out your own automation. So I've got very powerful automations in here. I've got very powerful forms, calendars, checkout pages already pre-built in my version of high level. And it can take time to again, personalize that for yourself. So I've got this awesome form called quick start form. And once you click through here, what you do is you just answer these qu simple questions like what's your business's Facebook URL? What's your business's Instagram URL? What's your business's Twitter URL? And once you fill in this form right here, it'll actually fill that data into the back end into these custom values. So it's kind of like this form is more like a pretty version of custom values where you can basically add again some questions, some answers, but it's a very simple form, very simple principle. And once you fill in again your personal business data into these funnels and websites um, form, for example, right here, it'll customize my existing funnel that works with my existing automations for your business specifically. And so I just wanted to end the video with that very cool and very powerful use case because again, high level is so powerful. There's so many ways to use it and it can take time to use it and it can take time to build your own automations, but it's a lot faster if you use existing powerful automations like this in this form, like these right here, like these funnels right here, and just simply edit the custom value personalize it with your information and have it all ready to go. If you want to try out my powerful version of high level with 24 seven chat support, one-on-one -on -one zoom call support and my personal help, then try out the free trial down below. Otherwise just subscribe to my channel and follow for the free awesome high level tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.